My name's Alan Hart. Um, today I'm going to talk about tools and my tools that I use. Um, I keep getting asked quite a lot if I do a video about which tools I use. Now I've just been sent this new bag from Monument Tools. It's the Gas Engineer tool bag. So I thought I'd take the opportunity to sort my tools out really. So my, my toolbox is a bit of a mess at the moment because I've been moving house and I take bits out and they've just been thrown back in. So we'll have a look in there as well, warts and all. I'll just show you how it is now. Um, and then we'll have a look at the, the new tool bag from Monument. Um, and I'll also show you my analyzer bag. I've got a prototype tool in there, so I won't be to show you that, um, but I'll show you the rest of the stuff that I've got in there. Um, so yeah, so let, let's have a look, we'll have a look now. So this is probably one of the most used kits that I've got. So I use this for servicing mainly. So I just take this in with my service bag. Um, so I'll just have a look at this. So this is my wearer kit. I've just added a, I've added a spanner into that. And then in there, you have the end for the screwdriver. And then you just have whichever screwdriver you want. It's a lot easier than carrying in loads of different screwdrivers. And then you've also got sockets as well. And a little ratchet, a little ratchet there, which anybody who's got wearer tools will know that it's all quality stuff. Really, really good. So that's me, uh, my little wearer tool set. So we'll have a look in my uh, gas board toolbox now. Just see what's in there. It's a little bit of a mess in there, but we'll have a look anyway. Right, so let's have a look inside. So as I say, it's a bit of a mess in here. So I mainly do installs. So I install new boilers and I service the boilers that I've installed. So I don't do that many breakdowns. Um, I, I just haven't got time to do all different jobs really, to be honest. Um, I've got a soldering mat in there. No idea why I've got that in there. I, I, I tend to use press nowadays. So I don't even solder, to be honest. So that's not going to be going in my new tool set. Olive cutters, brilliant. These are really, really good tools. They've seized up a bit, to be honest, because they've been stood for a long time. But I'm going to have a good, good sort out anyway. So just some wire, wire cutters for, to be honest, I bought them to use them so I can strip wires back. But I tend to just use normal cutters and just pull it off but yeah you should use these really rab tails so that's your Rothenberger just for putting rab tails in some more olive cutters olive cutters are brilliant Grips. I like these grips to be honest. Just a scraper. Wire cutters. Just some cutters. Copper pipe. Got trowel. Speed fit cutters, plastic pipe cutters, overflow pipe, whatever, they're good as well. Some cuts for waste pipe, so that's a quite a new one because it's still got the, the cap in. So it comes with this like protector because that's got a sharp blade in there, just there, I don't think you can see it. But that's for cutting waste pipes, they're really good. Using an axle for waste pipes is just non-starter for me, to be honest. These are 
These are really good, brilliant. And there's different sizes. So there's inch and a quarter, um, which is 35mm. And then there's inch and a half, which is 42 I think. Just got a little um, drill bit set. So this is for, these are actually, um, uh, these are actually Hilti bits in here. But they're just, they just go in my, in my drill, so I can just drill through the floor, joists, etc. Some more grips. These are a bit bigger than the ones. Um, probably not going to put that in. No toolbox. Just a big adjustable spanner. Some more olive cutters. As I say, this toolbox, things have just been thrown in. So it needs a, needs a real good sort out. Um, that's just for cleaning copper pipe um, if you're going to be doing soldering. Sometimes it's okay, but it's, it's a bit hard to get in. So I won't be putting that in new one, maybe. Some more olive cutters. Just a little hand saw, just if you need to cut out. Sometimes that comes in useful. Stanley knife. Little level. That's good for top up boilers when you're putting um, bracket on. It's nice and handy just to have in there. Some more grips. Just an axe saw. Just an electrical tester, just for testing ramp boiler cases, just to make sure that it's, it's not live before you touch it. Just a few bits of tape and stuff. We need to see that. Some more wire cutters. Just a little brush, that comes in really useful that. Just for cleaning worktops and stuff after when we've installed the boiler. So yeah. Um, just some random rubbish in there, some more cutters, small, adjustable, comes in handy, just some more copper pipe cutters as well, some more copper pipe cutters, you can never have enough copper pipe cutters, blades go on them and they go a bit blunt sometimes so it's always nice to have loads of them. <laughs> One thing, these are really good to have in your, in your bag, push fit stop ends. So normally if I'm going to cut into all this water I'll have at least one of each of these in my pocket just so that I can push them on if water starts coming out so if you're taking a boiler out and you cut the flow and return sometimes you can let air into the system and it'll start gurgling and then water will start coming out but what you can do is you, you can just put stop ends on and you can just control it a bit better if you haven't fully drained it down um, I don't know why that's in there just a long screwdriver Magnet, that's sometimes quite useful. I've had that for a lot of years from when I was back at British Gas. Uh, we used to test the H's in the airing cupboard to see if they were flushed up, and then we could um, see if the system needed power flushing. Some more grips. As I say, a lot of this stuff won't be going back in my new bag. Um, just screw it over. Nurad pipe slice. These were really good when they were new. Blades didn't seem to last very long. Um, but yeah, good pipe cutters. Olive puller. These are brilliant. So if you're changing rad valves and you need to get olive off, 
then these are brilliant. So you just put that on, pull. Go look, I've done another video with that in so you can see how you use that. Another Stanley knife. Again, like I said, I've just thrown everything in, so I need to sort it all out. Just some little um, little pins for just clearing injectors and things like that. There, they come in very useful though. I definitely be keeping them. Got a new bag. Just a chisel. So that. That's for my Hilti, well for, well, for any really, but I've got Hilti, um, just for brick, uh, for chipping out bricks. A few more screwdrivers. Just another screwdriver. Uh, pump pliers. These are good, these. These are really good. So these are wide jaw, but they're also small, so you can get into, into pumps. Another small adjustable, some extensions, foot rods, don't know why they're in there, but anyway, some more, that's about it really, but there's some more bits in there, just a little spanner. I'll show you, I'll show you inside and then you can have a, just look what's left. So just some random stuff left in here now. Drill bits. Another magnet. As I said, a lot of stuff's duplicated. I need to sort bag out. Sort all this out. Put the bag. Farmers for the uh, bending machine. 15 and 22. Some more pump spanners and that's that's it really just some random odd bits cap for gas meters spare fiber washers just olives just spare bits really so let's have a look we'll have a look in um monument bag now Right, so let's open this up. Let's see what it's like. So this bag is the Monument Masters bag and it's the gas engineer stroke plumbers tool case. So, I was quite fortunate that I was invited to Monument and we did have a little bit of an influence in designing some tools, some bags, etc. And this is one of, the, one of the designs that we looked at. This is the first time I've seen the finished article. So, let's have a look. Uh, one thing we did ask for was a hard bottom. And we've got a hard bottom on there. So, so that should be really good. Um, there's a, there's a, there's like a flap there, so you can put your your U gauge in there. I'd actually use my U gauge much. I, I have a digital one, but so. So as we can see in there. There's loads of space to put all your stuff in there. And there's like a storage area there. A little, a little compartment there at top. So as I say, you've got a little compartment there or a little bag where you can just put like screws and little bits and bobs. And then you've got this bigger, bigger one here which goes down the full, the full length of the bag which looks looks very good to be honest let's uh, we'll have a look at top here as well so when we open top we've got some 
don't know if you can see on there, but there's bits there where you can put your screwdrivers in. On top bit, so if you've got any long screwdrivers, you can put that on there. And then we've got a big deep pocket there. And then we've also got some dividers in here. So you can move that about where you want. In the bottom of there. And then when we look at the rest of it, we've got some more flaps. And then this side, this side again, we've got, um, we've got a zipper. So you probably put your hoses and stuff in there. And then this side, maybe put your analyzer and your printer in this bit. But we can have a look at that, look at that in a bit. So I'm just going to get my analyzer now. Um, I'll have a look at my analyzer case and then we can uh, see what will fit in here as well. Right, so when we look at my analyzer bag, you can see that it's, uh, it's sort of busting out. So I did need to do something. So let's just uh, have a look at what I've got in here. So I've just got a little prototype at the back here. So I'll just, uh, I'll just take that out there. Just don't want to uh, be getting in trouble for that. Um, so what I've got in the analyzer bag, I have all my hoses in top there. But I'm gonna put all this in the new monument bag. So I've got my spray in there as well. And my chargers. <laughs> Some lube, I don't know why that's in there. That can go in my tools, back in my tools. Printer. My, uh, my cane, 700 late detector, and then my analyzer, flow gas analyzer, cane 456. I've got the multimeter as well, in there. so that comes with me in every job. And then I've just got a little, little tester, um, Testo 510, and that's just for testing um, burner pressures and stuff. That's good, I like that. Nice and small. And that's it in there. Um, we'll put this in bag now and see how it all fits in. So I'm going to have to have a bit of a play around with this, but first firstly i've put all my tubes and stuff in this top compartment and then i've put my analyzer in on this side so i'll just close this so you can see so as you can see once it's closed it's all in nice and tidy so i've put a few bits in this side as well i've put my uh, leak detector in there it's going to take a little bit of getting used to for me because uh, I've had that blue box for a lot of years. Um, I've put my Wira tool set in there as well. Um, so yeah, it's, uh, we'll see how we get on with it. So out with the old and in with the new. So what I'll do now is I'll, I'll use this for a while and see what I think to it. Um, it's it's a little bit new for me, as I say, I've had this trusted blue toolbox now for quite a long time. So I'll see how we we'll go with it. Um, but everything's in there. It's nice and tidy, it's nice and neat, keep it all together. Um, yeah, let's see how we we'll go with it. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video.